Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're going to be doing, taking a look at the energy for the full moon in Aquarius. I actually have not gotten outside to look at the moon yet because I've been doing a lot of meditating, a lot of meditation. Um, but I ask you, if you are outside, maybe you're outside while you're listening to this, or you're going to go outside and look at the moon and do your rituals and do your prayers and your manifestation, take a picture of the moon, send it to me. I really enjoyed that the last full moon and I posted, um, a lot of full moon pictures. So when you do send me your full moon, just let me know where you are in the world, because that's always exciting and interesting to see all the full moons all over the world. What does it look like from your perspective, from your view? And again, all of the beautiful pictures that you can take. So you can email me, you can either email me, excuse me, at Aries Soul Guidance 222. My email is in the description box if you did not catch that. Um, I'm going to say this, personal readings are closed. If you would like a reading and you need one right away. I do have a link to Mystic Sense in my description box. There's a code there that you can get a few minutes free and use my code. Um, I'm going to say this. If you need a reading, you can email me. I'm not accepting them because I have a schedule now that and my son's about to start back to school, but I'm not not accepting them. Okay. If you, you get what I'm saying, if I find that I have time and I see someone in my email, then I will respond. I saw a few come in and I'll fit you in. I just have a lot of fun. Um, more so trying to get a schedule made right now, but I will be answering emails, taking a few here, taking a few there. So if it's not time sensitive type of situations, you can always feel free to email me. Um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, um, which will be shortly in about the next week, week, this week, you know, things coming up. So anyways, so let's go ahead and get into this. It is August 1st and I, I owe you guys about two, um, two winners for the giveaway. So I'm well aware of that. I've just had a lot going on, um, in my life. So that is definitely coming, but let's get into this right now. Let's see here. So this is the overall, I'm happy I did it this way. I pulled the overall energy for this, this full moon, but then I have the moonology that I have not pulled yet. So we'll pull that as we get through this. And let's just talk about this for a second, because this is kind of, it's definitely picking backing off of the August energy, but in a more expansive, a more dynamic, very potent way. Okay. The energy, the overall energy I have here for this full moon talks about miracles, talks about intense creation. And when I mean intense, I mean like night and day, something can be here tomorrow that wasn't here today. Right. But it's all about your intention and your focus. Okay. Um, the tower has come out in the overall energy, but I feel that it's a, it's a very, it's a tower in meaning that something is going to change drastically. Okay. And you have the power to create and choose what that is and how that goes. So you definitely want to harness this energy of this full moon. This is a super full moon. So this is very powerful. Everything I, I'm not, being dramatic Aries, but everything today and your thoughts and your intentions count. They matter. Check back in and come back to this reading maybe in about two weeks and see how everything has developed for you. And specifically, if you write your intentions for today, check back in and within about two weeks to the end of the month and see where you are, which by the end of the month, we have the second full moon in August. So two full moons this month, very powerful very powerful stuff. Um, don't just sit back and watch this video, but I ask you to please be proactive, specifically if you need a miracle, if you need some sort of dynamic change in your life, be intentional and set intentions, okay, um, for this full moon. So let's take a look here at the energy that we have. The very first card that we have from the um, not the Tarot of the Rishas, but the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck is Miracles, okay? Very first card that came out is Miracles. So I'm going to go ahead and read that for you guys. All right, so we have number 42, Ayazan, 
Okay. And she is a high priest. Wow. That is so interesting. Okay. This just stopped me dead in my tracks. She's a high priestess. So that's beautiful because we got the high priest right here. Man, love when that happens. All right. So let's, this is, this really intensified everything. So we got the high priestess and we have the high priest right here. The high priest in this this oracle deck represents or the embodiment of the divine masculine. So we have the divine masculine, we have divine feminine energy. Okay. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, she's from Haiti. Okay. So shout out to all my Haitian Kings and Queens out there. She's from Haiti. So we have Ayazan's guidance. You are a magnet for miracles. You are a miracle. What if you truly allowed yourself to believe? What if you truly allowed yourself to believe it? All things are possible. Dare to dream bigger. The embodiment says, you claim you want miracles, but you take an I'll believe it when I see it approach. What if you will see it after you believe it? Okay, so that means believing it first and then it's there. Believe that you deserve to be, do, have the world you want for yourself. You can be your true self. Do what awakens your soul and have your desires. This is life's miracle. If you haven't witnessed your miracle yet today, ask for it and allow it in. The goddess or God declaration is my life is full of miracles. So that is beautiful. All right. So let we also have the tower. I'm going to show you the cards and we'll go back here. So we have the tower, which is number 16. And I use the good tarot. Okay. We have the high priest which is intend and create, intend and create. So this is about being very intentional about what you want to see, okay? We have compromise. Compromise has the scales here, all right? The balance, which we have the divine feminine and divine masculine. So this is screaming duality and balancing of energies. We have compromise, we have success. Success, we have meditation brings answers, and that is truly how you are going to receive what you, you know, right? Um, you can watch tarot, you can watch prediction videos all day long, but I promise you the answer, the exact answer, the specific answer, the color, the make the model answer is in here. It's in here. Okay, that don't, I mean, you, you want things so bad. You want things so desperately, but you won't meditate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I promise you every answer that you need is inside of you already and you still won't meditate. And then I get people who start meditating and then they're like, wow, this is life changing. Really? <laughs> it, you know what I'm saying? It really is life changing. But the fact of the matter is a lot of people today, they just won't slow down. Make time, make an hour a day, make 30 minutes a day. You don't have to clear your mind. Stop telling yourself that. Okay. You don't have to have pure silence. Stop telling yourself that. Just sit still. Okay. Just sit still and let the answers come to you. Okay. And then the last but not least, you have, if you believe. If you believe, and that's the key, belief turns into knowing, which is very powerful. At the bottom of the deck, I want to say this, you have ask your angels. So don't forget to communicate specifically right now in this time frame. The moon is very powerful. Okay. Moon is very powerful. It's also that divine feminine energy. So I'm going to read this. Um, I'm going to read a few things here. So I'm going to read this tower because these, the, the good tarot is a little bit different from the regular um, traditional tarot. So this tower talks about, and this deck is just surprises, okay? Surprises. Things happen really fast when this card shows up in a reading. Its appearance could portend a total paradigm shift of a sudden upheaval that takes something away in order for something better to take its place. It could be that I've had an epiphany. Whatever it is, this card tells me unexpected events will be very interesting and offer opportunities for positive transformation if I remain present with my eyes open. Okay. And then what is it here? A computer screen. Okay. And then we have the high priest. And I want you to listen to this one really closely. Okay. So I'm going to read this really carefully because there's a lot of nuggets in here. 
All right. This is talking about recognize that you have the power to change your life, face your fear and align with the light. Okay, so this is about, in many traditions, the high priest is the physical embodiment of the divine masculine. He acts as a bridge between worlds and is able not only to divine the future, but to help create it too. He may be a leader in this, in his spiritual tradition or in a pagan traditions, be second to the high priestess, but he is always spiritually connected and disciplined with great respect for his creator and his particular practice. In a reading, this card can represent a spiritual figure, a leader, or a teacher in your life, or an aspect of your path that has led you where you are today, okay? The extended message here, you are a bridge between heaven and earth, and it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think, okay? Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating your way forward. There have been some setbacks, but accept these as experiences that have led you to a deep understanding of yourself and your spirit. Know that you are being guided by the ancestors, okay? To direct your thoughts and energies towards what you want to grow, heal and expand, and then watch it happen right before your eyes, okay? So this is the bridge between heaven and earth, the connector here between the spiritual world, 3D world here, and between what you want, right? And the lessons that you have learned. These lessons that you have learned, these things, here we go. Thank you, spirit. My ear just started ringing. Okay. So these things that you have been through, these lessons all are coming full circle. They are all going to be necessary in this journey, in this energy that you're in currently. These lessons were not punishment. These lessons were not things to slow you down. Okay. They may have felt like difficult situations in your life, burdens, hardships, you know, all of these things, but those lessons were for you to use to create the life that you desire. You see, you have to have contrasts. You have to know what you don't want in order to know what you do want. You have to feel the pain in order to know what the joy feels like. All right. We all have heard the Frankie Beverly song. You have to know, okay, what it feels like to be down so you can know what it feels like to be up. It is never a punishment. Everything that happens on this earth is for you. It is supposed to happen to you. You chose it half of the time, okay? If you believe in reincarnation, which you don't have to believe in it for it to be real, because it is, you chose it. You chose your path. You chose your journey. You chose your lessons to help you ascend and expand consciousness. Now, let me tell you this. You also were sent here to get what you want. You may have been sent here to struggle a little bit along the way to help build you up. Think of it as you being molded into that perfect clay model that you're supposed to be. And that's where all those bumps come in and make the grooves and things like that and you get banged up and stuff like that. But ultimately, you are supposed to get what you want. Don't think that you're not supposed to get what you want. Don't think that you're supposed to be poor. Don't think that you're supposed to be impoverished. Don't think that you're only supposed to have a little bit of what you want and just supposed to like it, love it, enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. Gratitude is important, but you can still have everything that you want. Everything that you set out, everything that you intend, you can create, okay? So this message is to tell you, do not settle. Do not settle for what you think that you can have, but intend and create, and you can have everything that you want, okay? You can have perfect health. You can have wealth. You can have love. You can have the body you want. You can have the business you want. You can have it all, okay? That's why I'm here, okay? That's why God put me in this position to tell you that you can come from rock bottom and you can come up. Okay. I'm a living, testing, walk, walking testament of that. Okay. It, it can happen. It, it has happened many times and it will happen for you. But the thing is that you have to first be very intentional about what you want. And then that's all you focus on, right? Your purpose, not the wealth, not the money. You focus on your purpose and everything else that comes along with that will come in. And you ask, well, I don't know what my purpose is. Well, I ask you, what are you passionate about? Okay. That's how that goes. 
You don't know what your purpose is? Find what you're passionate about. I promise you there's a way to connect that to the collective where it can help heal someone or do something for someone else, okay? It's always going to be connection. It's always going to be connection. And that's what this full moon talks about, honestly, okay? So a lot of you are going to be finding your purpose or having some sort of life-changing event that happens that leads you to your purpose. Sometimes a life-changing event could be a really bad breakup. Sometimes a life-changing event could be you losing a job, realizing that you're unhappy somewhere and realizing that you need more, you want more. Those are life-changing events. But the thing is, is that when certain things happen, we don't act on them and then you find yourself depressed. That's how that happens, okay? When things come, I was just listening to someone talk today and the lady was saying, we get these little nuggets or these ideas and we're like, oh man, I think that, that would be cool. And then you completely ignore it. What do you think those things come into your mind for? They they come into your mind for you to grab them because one thing is going to lead you to the next thing and it's going to lead you to the next thing. And before you know it, you're doing what you love. You're happy. You know, you're receiving what you want, what you desired. But you first have to start with the intention. You first have to start um, with the meditation as well. Okay. Um, there's something else that I wanted to say before I get into the moonology here. Oh, I wanted to clarify this tower. Okay, so we got King of Air that was at the bottom of the deck, which is that Aquarius energy here. This is the full moon in Aquarius. So let's clarify the tower here for the Aries Collective for this full moon. Thank you so much. Let's clarify this tower here. We got two cards. Okay, so this talks about here the hanged man. I want to see what the hanged man talks about in this set, but the queen of water. Definitely know what this is about. This is love, okay? This can be love. This could be self-love. This is compassion. This is healing energy, okay? So there might be something coming in towards you, Aries, that is going to be massively healing. Hangman in every deck talks about an awakening, an epiphany type of energy here. So let's see what it means here. And that's number 12. And, and this is talking about the surrendering, all right, to receive what you desire. All right, so sacrifice and surrender are necessary at times like this. Nothing in life is free, nor does everything happen according to a timetable. When this card appears, is reminded that it is at your best interest that until all elements are in place, I meant to surrender to the greater will for the highest good of all. Time for me to let go of my attachment to how I thought things had to be, and I'm called to surrender and wait to see how things play out. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. This feels like something here is, it, it feels like you let go of something and the letting go could be fear. The fear of something not happening and that brings in a major shift. This is jumping from page of water, message of water, queen of water. Compassion, emotional security, generosity, self-love, and self-care, and healer, healing. Okay, let's get into the tarot. No, let's not get into the tarot. Let's pull from the monology. All right, let's take a look here. What do we have here for the full moon in Aquarius? Holy Spirit, Spirit as an angels, please allow me Deliver a clear message here for the Aries Collective. There we go. What do we have here for the energy for this full moon in Aquarius for Aries? Let's shuffle it one more time. What do we have here for Aries for the full moon in Aquarius? We'll pull four cards. So you have confidence is your key to success. Very true. This is new moon in Leo. 
which is the next new moon, isn't it? So new moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Or did we just have? No, it's it's coming up. Con okay, new moon in Leo. We have don't let your past hold you back. Okay, so this is the south node. I believe the south node is in Libra right now. So this could be about relationships and compromising things. Okay, you know, relationships more than anything. So don't let your past hold you back. So there could be a specific relationship or relationships, plural. Um, and like, it doesn't even necessarily have to be letting go of relationships, although it can be. Sometimes it can be letting go of things that happened within relationships, grudges, um, unforgiveness, resentment, things like that, that may need to be let go of in order for these miracles or healing to happen. Okay. Let's see here. Oh goodness. Coming out. Cool. So we have you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in cancer. That is beautiful. That's the last new moon that we had. So you and your loved ones are safe. And then you have um, full moon in Aries. Okay. A fiery climax approaches. So something here is about to shift or take place. Let me just see what else comes out because the full moon in Aries just fell out. Let's see here. Believe in the impossible. Wow. And then you also have if you believe. So believe in the impossible. There's something here, Aries, where it's like, I mean, it, the best way I could put it right now is the go big or go home is what I'm getting, you know, especially if you're trying to create something. Like, you know, sometimes people would teach you how to take baby steps, but there's something here about you making intention of receiving something massive, okay? And you not allow allowing things from your past to hold you back from these and you being so sure and confident in the things that you do not see yet, but that confidence is what's going to make them appear, Okay. That is what that is what faith is, the confidence in the thing, confidence in the things that are yet seen. OK, look it up. Hebrews 11, 1, which is 1, 1, 1. OK, I, I tell you, go look that up right now. Hebrews 11, 1. All right. Definition of faith. So there is confidence here right now, Aries, that you need right in the things that you are trying to manifest. And with the tower here and the hangman, which is surrendering the old, letting go of this old way of thinking, this belief, the time, the time that you needed to happen in just surrendering all of that. Oh my God. I just shut my eyes and saw a sun. Um, surrendering all of that, which may represent Leo too. So something could be really drastically happening in Leo season. That's so cool. Um, and it's almost like the betterment, the betterment of something here. Your loved ones here, you and your loved ones are safe, could represent family. This is cancer energy. You could have cancer in your chart. We just left cancer. Um, so this could have been cancer, cancer season. So this could have been something here that happened or transpired in cancer season. Um, or this could be something here that you started to, to feel the shift during cancer season. Okay. So, oh, and then what else fell out is new moon in Aries, it's time to take action. So if you believe a fiery climax approaches, it's time to take action. You and your loved ones are safe. Don't let your past hold you back. And confidence is the key to success. All right. So let's pull this to the side here. I'm going to pull some TV cards and then I will go into the Celtic cross that I'm going to do for this reading. Um, at the bottom of the deck is the super moon. Okay. Emotions are running high. So let's see here. Oh, they're right in front of my face. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Pull five cards for Aries for this full super moon in Aquarius. What is the energy here for Aries? Thank you so much. What do they need to see? What is coming towards them for Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. This is for Aries.
I think that card just came out the other day. Or yesterday, let's see here. Okay. Let me clarify this one right here. Oh, goodness. All right. I will take those two. So we have Astro House and two months of the year. Cards are falling out everywhere. Let's see here. I'll take everything that came out. So this was to clarify this. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to process all this. Let's see here. All right. So the first card that you have out here is the bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. So this could definitely be the beginning of some sort of romantic cycle that is coming in for you. Specifically with the Queen of Cups here, we have the fan, which I said came out before. Romance, celebration, and party gatherings. I think I mentioned that in a reading a day or two ago about going to parties that you're invited to, maybe throwing some of your own, okay? We have a flag here. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. I just said go big or go home. Now you have the unsuccessful plans here, which is the not. And I clarified that and I got victory, victory in an endeavor. And you and I also, what I also clarified it is the broken ring. So it says parting of the ways in either romance or business. Then what also came out by itself is the lily, spiritual love, spiritual love. And then you have February that came out. This could be somebody's birthday that is coming up, maybe an angel ancestor here. Um, or this could be somebody that you know. This also could be a situation. A this is what I got intuitively because we got February and we got November. And then what came in the middle of it is wealth. I'm sorry, I'm putting it so close. I just want to make sure you can see it. Um, what I got intuitively that something that started in February, maybe a cycle is going to come to an end in November. It could be something that was kind of difficult. Um, it could be a health situation, but it's going to be ending out in November. Um, with this not unsuccessful plans, victory in some endeavor and parting of the ways, I feel that there is a situation it could be a relationship that you were in. Maybe you had plans to do something together. It doesn't work out, but it's going to be for your best. There's a situation here that it's not going to go according to plans, but it's actually for the best. It seems like a parting ways of a relationship. This could have already happened, but this is confirmation that something that needed to, was well, something that you thought was going to work out, didn't work out, was actually for your best. It was for, so you can have a victory or success in some endeavor. Okay. Let's pull on these cards and see what messages come out. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little stuffy. Holy Spirit, Spirit, guys, and angels. Please allow me to put a message here for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Give us some clarity on these situations here. King of Swords, Aquarius energy coming out. Seven of Swords. Page of Swords. Wow, a lot of um, Swords energy. The Tower again. And the Hierophant. Give us one more. I guess we're taking that one. Seven of Wands. And the lovers. Wow. Just as I suspected. There's that sun. I knew I saw the sun, the hermit, and the death card. Wow. This is very spiritual. This is definitely a confirmation here, Aries, that 
there was something that you had to cut out of your life that was very difficult. You had to be selfish. You need to be selfish or you had to be selfish. It was very, it was, and some of you, like if you're still in something that you know you need to get out of, this is saying that you definitely need to get out of something. You need to be stern. You need to be, you need to, to detach from the situation emotionally. Okay. So you're able to make a sound and smart judgment here. Okay. And then you're supposed to just take your things and go. Okay. With this seven of swords energy, maybe you're cutting out somebody who was a lying and deceptive energy here. We got the page of swords here. Some of you could be learning how a new way of doing things. So let's just say like you go through a divorce and you're learning to live on your own again. You're learning to, to do new things again. But the fact of the matter is, is that you took the first steps to do this, to go through this change. Some of you, you went through a breakup, a relationship change. Maybe you cut a lot of people out. It was very necessary for you to learn how to be independent or to do things on your own, okay? Learning a new way of doing things. It's very much giving this not here, unsuccessful plans and broken relationships here, either in business or in romance. Something had to end. You may not have planned for it to end, but it needed to end, okay? And it needed to end so you could grow in a new direction here with this Page of Swords, learn new things here. And I'm seeing here by doing that, it changed a lot. It changed major dynamics in your relationships, but it also brought in some sort of spiritual... Um, epiphany or awakening in some of you here with this the hierophant energy. This is Taurus energy here. Um, I feel like also some of you could have be changing your practice, your spiritual practices. Um, maybe you are meditating more, but it feels more like the way that you're doing things, okay? Um, and let me tell you, spirituality, as a, it could be how you take care of your body, you know, your just things that you are making more sacred, okay? So maybe you used to do things one way and now here with this tower, you are completely changing that whole routine and that dynamic because maybe now things that were that weren't important to you then are important to you now, okay? Now I can say that better. It was so hard for me to say that. And then I'm seeing here with the seven of wands and the lovers here, it's like you're doing this thing where you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your energy. You're protecting your peace. You're not so easily accessible, accessible, right? As far as your energy and your person, this is a good thing because this is going to allow the right relationships, the right connections to come in. It's also going to allow you to align what is your sole purpose here with this lovers and also what, I mean, what lights your soul on fire. Okay. Same thing, but I just need you to see it both ways. What you're truly passionate about, what makes you feel you. Okay. So you're, cu you're cutting out all of the distractions and the things, the situation that took you away or kept you from your path of you. And I'm seeing here with this hangman energy here, that some of you, that could have been the sacrifice, which honestly is not really a sacrifice when you have to let go of things that are hindering for you, from you being connected to you, from you loving yourself, from you elevating yourself. It's not really a sacrifice, but sometimes you have to ask yourself, what are you willing to sacrifice to make sure that you receive the things that you truly desire? And sometimes it looks like letting go of certain relationships, people, um, jobs, career changes, things like that, where you just have to say, yeah, the pay is good, but I'm not fulfilled. I'm not happy here. You know, this is not my passion. This does not excite me every day. You know, I, I'm just working to pay my bills. So these are things here where it's a drastic change here with the tower and the hangman and then the queen of water here. And then you're putting yourself first. Okay. So this is saying right now during this full moon time that this is the time to do that and to make these type of changes. Okay. No better time than right now. No better time than right now to say, hey, enough is enough. I'm not putting up with this anymore. I'm setting my intention that I'm going to start doing what I love to do. I just got it ringing in this ear now. I'm going to do what I love to do. I'm going to make this amount of money. I'm going to live where I want to live. And you're going to sit in that. Not, not the how it's going to happen, but the this is what it is, right? Intend and create. 
intend and create, okay? This divine masculine energy here. The divine masculine energy is the energy of, you have the high priestess, which receives. She attracts. The divine masculine is making it happen. He is the action oriented here, right? The new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. So you see how this all fits together. Then you have, if you believe, right? Meditation, success, okay? Aries, this is all... And I hope you're receiving this. Whoever needs to hear this is receiving this. You know, this is the this is truly the recipe for a miracle. We like to he hear that word miracle because it sounds exciting, but I need you to know that this could be your life every single day. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to call it a miracle. You can say, I'm going to choose and decide what I want to do and have, and that's what's going to happen. And it's not going to be so out of the ordinary that I'm going to call it a miracle anymore. It's going to be my life that I get to wake up every single day and live the life that I truly desire. And it feels like a dream life, but this is really the life that I'm living. You can do that. Okay. You can do that. And I feel like the miracle in it all is that you're taking this step today and you're taking this position to change it. Right. And maybe that's something that you never thought that would happen. But like this miracle card said, you have to believe it before you see it. Don't say you'll see it before you, you know what I'm saying? Believe it. So let's go ahead and get into this tarot because I could just go on and on. <laughs> on and on and on and on. And just making sure that you reach your full potential. So let's see here. Let's read these. What do we have here for Aries? And what do they need to know during this full moon in Aquarius? Holy Spirit, spirits and angels, please allow me to put a message here for Aries. What do they need to know? I want to say so they can reach their full potential during this full moon in Aquarius. That's what I feel like I want to say. What does Aries need to know to reach their full potential in during this full moon in Aquarius? Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Look at that. Four of Wands. What a beautiful way to start a reading. Four of Wands. Celebrations happiness, joy, success. This is literally celebrating something that you've created or you've manifested or that you've asked for. This is happiness. This is a union. This is joy. This could be spiritual love. I'm looking for the card here. Where is it? There's a fan. Uh, romance, celebration, and party. Um, this is celebrations right here. We call it the marriage card because this looks like, you know, two people together, but it could be the unite unitedness of a family. This could be a twin flame, but this is somebody here who is very stable, very happy, but also very passionate about where they're at, what they're doing and their life. And that's the start of the reading area. That is very beautiful that this is starting out your Celtic cross. Okay. This is very beautiful here. So this is letting me know or letting someone know, letting you know here that happiness is right around the corner if you intend it to be, if you create it to be. It is very, very close here. With the judgment card at the bottom of the deck, somebody here is being called to a particular situation, job, or thing that is going to bring them complete happiness, stability, all right? And you're going to be very passionate about it. I'm seeing the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the nine of cups just fell out. So this is definitely a wish fulfillment here for somebody. What is the biggest challenge here for Aries? We have the page of swords. Let's clarify the page of swords, see what this is about. King of cups here came in reverse. I'm going to put that back. Um, it feels like immaturity because they come in reverse. It feels like learning how to deal with certain people or energies that can create, I'm trying to choose my words in the right way, delays. Because I don't want to use blockages, but I will say delays. Um, so some of you could be breaking away from particular people or learning that you need to, 
or you've already known that you need to, but all right, some of you have may have been holding back or delaying something here. But the Page of Swords here, it feels like this is like a new way of doing something. Now, it could be somebody spying on you intently. I'm getting even, you know, the King of Cups in reverse with the Page of Swords can definitely be evil eye energy if somebody is directing that emotionally immature energy towards you. So take that if it resonates. If you know you need some sort of protection, an evil eye bracelet or things like that, I would do that because it feels like Aries that you are entering a period of happiness, okay? Celebrations, wealth, money, success. You, It's coming to you. I, I can't. <laughs> like, <laughs> metaphorically, I feel like I want to grab you, however many thousand watching, and shake you because <laughs> there's still somebody out there who doesn't believe that it's going to happen to them. It's like I can in, I can literally intuitively feel like somebody is watching this right now and they, it's so hard for them to grasp that it could be you. And the only thing that is standing in the way of it being you is you believing it. <laughs> That's so crazy. Okay. So let's see here. What does Aries need to focus on? That is so crazy. I mean, all right. So we got the nine of swords in reverse. Isn't that just so crazy though? The only thing that is standing in the way of you having what you desire is you believing it. But yet it's still so hard for you to believe. You got the nine of swords in reverse. So this is the energy of getting out of your head. Stop obsessing. Stop thinking about what could go wrong, but think about what could go right. It's in reverse. So I feel like somebody is learning how, maybe new techniques on how to combat this type of energy, or I would say combat sounds like too much force, work through it to dissolve it, to get out of your head, to get out of your fears, okay? To stop allowing yourself to block you. Stop thinking about the worst case scenario is what I'm trying to say. There's the hangman again in the past. So there has definitely been some sacrifice in the past. We we see that. There has definitely been some sacrifice. And so that makes sense why the four of, four of wands is in the, the current situation or what's coming to you because the sacrifices have been made. So now it's just time for you to sit back and focus on this happiness and joy and it's going to come to you. Or I would say wait so it can come in. Six of Swords here at the bottom of the deck lets me know that you've already been through a lot. Ooh, what was that? Two of Cups was trying to come out. Tell us here what's crowning Aries. The Knight of Wands. So this is passion. This is excitement. This is some of you starting out on a new path, chasing your dreams, doing something that truly fulfills you, excites you, ignites you. I mean, in every type of way. This is Sagittarius energy here. Um... That's where your focus and your strength is right now, Aries, on your passions, okay? So you can see that grow. I feel like this is like, for someone here, I'm speaking about a new way of doing things, a new way of making money. It could be a new relationship that very, is very much exciting here, getting to know someone new. But it's something here that really makes your heart space like burn in a good way, okay? Let's see here. What is coming towards Aries? Three of Wands, more fire energy. This is a manifestation card here because this is for you waiting for what you have already chosen and decided on and acting on to come in. This is like the last, the final steps before you receive the Four of Wands, which is the happiness, the joy, all right? The passion, the excitement. So this is beautiful. Tell us about here, Aries Energy, the Page of Pentacles. Some of you could be learning or implementing new ways of making money. This could be receiving a job offer. Um, this could also be if you were in your own business. This could be seeing, the look at that, the beginning stages of you making money or taking the necessary steps for you to start running a business or opening a business here. This is definitely planting some sort of seed here, Aries, and this is your advice card. So it's time for you to take action or make that first step into something that is going to be very, very big for you, okay? For those of you who already have a business, this could be you adding something to the lineup, adding something to the mix that's going to change the whole game, okay? Like it could be like taking a class or offering a new service or something like that here, or even adding teaching, you know, what you're doing. I mean, people... 
will master a craft. And then once they've mastered a craft, the real wealth and abundance starts when you start teaching what you know, right? And creating more people to do what you do, right? You know why that is. You can do something that you love to do till you're blue in the face. And then you turn around and start teaching people how to do it. And you see more wealth than you've ever seen. You know why that is? That is what you call expanding consciousness because you are helping the collective. You're not being greedy and hoarding it all to yourself. You are help, genuinely helping other people grow and learn. That brings in so many blessings. So that could be the next stage for somebody in their business. Or maybe you, if you're just starting out, know that that's your end goal. Okay. Know that that is your end goal here. And that's what's going to help you grow whatever you're doing. Let's see here. <clears throat> We have the high priestess in your environment. So this is definitely some sort of, wow, with the sun card here. Sometimes the high priestess could talk about secrets, but this feels more like a spiritual type of energy. If it is a secret, it's kind of like some sort of divine code, something that you haven't discovered yet. So it's not really a secret because it's connected to source, to the environment. But this is your intuition as well. This is in your environment though. So this could be another person, could be a Pisces, but this also could be um, something that is going to be revealed to you, especially with the sun here at the bottom of the deck. It also feels like something that you're going to tap into. And I said something about you learning new spiritual techniques or a new spiritual path that's leading you to something else. This could be meditation as well. So you have the high priestess and the hangman here, which is two Pisces energies. Let's see here. What is, we're going to clarify that in a second. Page of Cups here is coming out in your hopes and fears here. So this could be the energy of being received well. Also receiving some sort of intuitive message. So some of you could be looking for answers. I wonder if you're meditating though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could be searching for answers that are going to help you. Hoping that they come to you. Tell us about the outcome. Page of Wands. This is some good news. Receiving something very exciting that's going to help you on your path. But the Page of Wands is good news. Exciting news. So let's clarify that and see what's going on here. You have a lot of fire energy here. One, two, three, four. Four cards. Four fire cards here. But everything else, it's only one of it. One of each. So let's start with the hangman and see what this is about. Look at that. Four of wands again and the two of cups. Did I say the hangman? I didn't mean to say the hangman. I meant to say the page of wands um, and see what this exciting news is. This message. Four of wands again. It's a call to action. The page of wands, that's what I just heard. It's a call to action. What you got, the Aries, it's time to take action. This page of wands is a call to action for someone. This, re this reading is not going to be for everyone. I'm just telling you. So if you watch this far, thank you. Um, but this is really a reading here for someone who is being called to do something. Called to do something. And I feel like, you know it's a big idea, but you don't know how big it's going to be. Truly, you want it to be big, but you really don't understand how big this could be. Maybe because you think little old me. But it could be really big. And it's starting out in this page of wands energy as something that is exciting. Something that you're passionate about. Something you haven't gotten off the ground yet. And again, this could be an entrepreneurial idea or endeavor. But this also could be like the call to leave a job. Be like, this, you know, this shit's not for me. I'm done with this. I've spent so much of my time and my energy and my life here. I literally can feel my passion being called in a new direction. Let's clarify it. 
this nine of swords in reverse is you getting out of fear. Spirit's just giving me all the messages right now. Let's see here. I'm getting out of your head. One more. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Mm -hmm. look at that <laughs> and that was the first card that came out four of wands four of wands page of wands look what else came out four of cups uh someone's ignoring something someone is ignoring a passion or a calling this thing you're ignoring, you're facing this Four of Cups energy right now. And it could be because of depression and disappointment. It could be because of distractions. And I'm going to tell you that, which is why it's necessary to, and we talked about this in the beginning of reading, to detach, right, from some sort of emotions that is going to allow you to cut out what is necessary, okay, from your life, this hangman here, and put yourself first. Because somebody is delaying their happiness. Somebody is delaying the job, the dream job. Somebody is delaying the dream house. Somebody is delaying the dream relationship because of a situation that they will not get out of. I'm going to take that how it resonates, but somebody is delaying everything that is going to make them happy and fulfilled because of something that you will not get out of. This could be a relationship. This could be a way of thinking. This could be the negative energy that you keep, you know, um, living in. It is truly time for someone here not only to raise their vibration or their consciousness, but it's time for you to get out of something. It's time for you to get out of something. Five of Wands here. Some of you, look at that. Thank you, Spirit. Eight of Swords and the Five of Wands. This is this negative thinking entrapment. You feeling stuck in a situation, but it's only your thoughts that are keeping you here. And the Five of Wands could be some sort of inner conflict, inner turmoil, turmoil or it could also just be real drama. You know, that you keep keeping yourself and you keep yourself stuck in unnecessary drama, arguments and things and situations. But it's it's blocking you from your happiness, your success, what you're truly passionate about and for. I want to say, you know, you don't owe them no answer. You don't owe them no explanation. The only person that you need to be focusing on right now, Aries, is you. Get yourself together first so you can start doing what you love to do and helping who you need to be helping. Let's take a look at the three of wands that's in this future position here. <laughs> Telling you. Someone's going to be a boss. Okay? I mean... That's crazy. Look at this. You got the three of wands. Somebody is going to be very successful in what they do. I heard real estate too. That's not going to be for everybody, but I needed to say that for confirmation for somebody out there. Um, three of wands, ace of pentacles, and the emperor. This is a blessing here. Monetary blessing, the beginning of something very big, but you're going to be a boss at what you, you do very confident, very self-assured. And again, the emperor didn't get on this throne. It wasn't given to the emperor. The emperor owned this, earned this throne and owned it, right? Earned this position in every way that he could, in every way that he could, he earned it. Okay. Stepped on, stomped on, talked about trash, beat down, abused, all of it. Okay. The, that's why the emperor is sitting on a stone throne. Because nothing can move him anymore. He's been through it all. He's seen it all. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't go through the fire for no reason, right? So remember that while you're in it. Remember that while you're in a difficult time, while you're at the bottom of the pit, 
Okay, while you while you're in hell, if that's where you feel like you're at, remember you don't stay there forever. Okay, um, you don't stay there forever. Not even literal hell. Okay, you can even be rescued from hell. The only people who stay in hell are the people who refuse to turn to God. And guess what? God is inside of all of us, the God consciousness. When you wake up to that power, you will remove yourself from hell. Any hell, any form, you will remove yourself. The power of believing and knowing. Okay? So this is truly someone here who's about to be blessed. But it's only going to come through you recognizing your own power. And that starts with loving yourself and taking yourself out of situations that are harming you. Honestly, that are harming you. Let's take a look here at, I want to see this um, Knight of Wands that's crowning you. King of Swords crossing here. This is somebody here that was the Knight of Pentacles that wanted to come out. Being very intentional about following your pa your passion and blocking out a lot of the distractions. Ace of Swords. Dang. A lot of Aquarius energy. A lot of... This is crazy. Literally, right? Someone here is on a new path. You are getting this new inspiration, these new ideas. This calling is coming to you and you're very passionate about it, but you're going to have to be, you're going to have to make some hard decisions about who can come with you, what can come with you, and also cutting out a lot of distractions. Tell us about the high priestess and your environment. Five of Swords. Here comes with this comes here. Here comes the distractions. <laughs> Something in your environment. Thank you, Spirit. Now it doesn't have to be a person because this is a. I mean, this whole reading is full of swords and fire. So maybe you could be dealing with an air sign, air sign with water in it in the chart. Um, look at that, more water, Cancer energy, but. It doesn't have to necessarily be a person, although if it is a person, I'm just going to describe it because sometimes it's easier to understand as a person. If it's a person, it's somebody here who tells you intentional lies to keep you stuck. And these lies have seeped down to your subconscious to the point that you believe them. If it's a person, keep in mind that person could be you. Okay. So somebody who's telling you lies or keeping the truth from you, um, same thing, right? <laughs> keeping the truth from you, right? In order to keep you stuck and not reach your full potential and your goals here with the chariot card. <clears throat> the high priestess means that there's a knowing. Okay. Deep down, there's a, a knowing. It could be a knowing of how great you're going to be, seeing your full potential. So let's say it is you. Deep down inside, you know, source is there. You have a knowing too. This is why you meditate. Okay. Doesn't matter what lies that you have start to, started to believe about yourself from conditions, temporary conditions, uh, grooming, how you've been raised you know, um, environmental things that have made you believe certain lies about yourself. We were all born pure, okay? A pure love and light. And then along the way, we pick up a lot of things, which is why we do shadow work. Even if you picked up a lot of things, a lot of scummy things, at your core, you know the truth about who you are and who you are supposed to be. That's why we meditate. Okay, that's why we meditate so we can connect back to that truth. It's always there. It doesn't matter how somebody abuses you, beats you down, tells you you're not going to be this, this, and that. That truth lives inside of you. It is there. You do not have to seek it outside of yourself. It is in you. Like it is in you at your core. You are love, you are light, you are perfection. Truly, I don't care what you've done, you really are. Okay. It's just that so much of the world has gotten inside of us 
It's best to look, pat yourself on the back. We are all doing this together right now in this day and age, in this world, what we're going through, it's a lot. <laughs> and this time space reality that we're all living in right now, it's real ghetto, okay? And we're all living it and we're thriving. A lot of us, even if you think that you're not, you are because you're here, okay? Um, you're still here. You're still here. You're still doing it every single day. And that's enough to congratulate yourself. And that's enough to say tomorrow and you got another chance. And there's nothing more beautiful than that. Okay. There's nothing more beautiful than that. The thing that is keeping you stuck is that you won't sacrifice or you won't let go of certain things. And you got to ask yourself, why? Why do you think or why are you conditioned to believe that these things or these people are more important than you? Because essentially that's what you're saying. That's what you're telling yourself is that these things that I keep doing that I'm not happy with are more important than me. That's hard. You know, when you have to tell yourself that you have to believe, you have to know that's what you're doing. The relationship that you're in, that you've been in for 20 something years and you're still there and you're desperately unhappy. Why is that more important than you? Why is that more important than your happiness? Why is that more important than you living the life that you truly desire? You realize that you only have one of these? Only one <laughs> in this lifetime. You only have one. <laughs> you only have one to be you right now. Do it at your fullest capacity. These cards that are laid out right here, spirit, the way I'm interpreting them, okay, and you can feel this if this is your reading right now, you are destined to be something great. You have a calling here, something that excites you, something that you're very, very passionate about. Even if you felt like you never knew what your, your purpose was, it's here, it's in you. But you're, the reason why you feel like you can't find it or you can't define it is because you are choosing to put things in front of your happiness. I hope I've broken that down as, I've broken it down as many ways as I possibly can because I feel like this is a very important reading that somebody has to see. You can walk away from this reading and immediately change everything that you need to change or it could be five years from now. But today I planted the seed. Okay, I planted the seed to let you know that there's something in your life right now that has to go in order for you to truly receive what you deserve. Okay, um, and that was my job. So I'm going to clarify this four of wands and then we're going to close this out. Let's see here. The strength, look at that. The strength, the three of wands here. Someone here is holding themselves back from their happiness. It's truly, truly. King of Cups here. King of Cups here. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. A lot of fire, a lot of water, a lot of air here. I'm telling you what, though. If you truly make a list. Oh, my back. Make a list of the things or the situations that you want to see in your life. And then ask yourself, what is stopping you from getting here? And you tell yourself out loud, what is stopping me from getting to these things? Be practical. You know what I'm saying? Is it, is it my job that I'm working? I work too many hours to focus on my goals. And, you know, and you'll start seeing the things and the changes that you need to make for yourself. But you have to be honest. Okay. Let's close this out with a guardian angel card. Let's see here. For Aries, sun, moon, Venus, and rising. This is for Aries. Courage. Beautiful. Thank you, spirit. It's definitely going to take courage for a lot of people. So we have courage. It says, dare to be different, to make mistakes, create. Mm -hmm. For it is in creation that you exist in this world of dreams that stem from the eternal heart. You are one with all creation. All is possible. Go forth and be true to yourself, for it is only through being true to you that you can be true to others. I'm sorry, I, I hate to hit the dust there on you guys, but I mean, even spirit came through with the same repetitive message. You can't do 
and be what you are here to do and be until you are going to be true to yourself, until you are going to be honest with yourself, until you are going to allow yourself to do what you what makes you happy. You're not going to be able to, to reach the highest capacity that you're supposed to reach on this earth. And I'm going to read this again. It says, dare to be different to make mistakes, create, for it is in creation that you exist. In this world of dreams that stem from the eternal heart, you are one with all creation. All is possible. Go forth and be true to yourself, for it is only through being true to you that you can be true to others. That's what I have for you guys. Take care.